Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss list view. Now, list view is another control uh, similar to combo box. The only difference lies between the list view and the combo box is in combo box we can select only one value, whereas in list view we can select multiple values. So, a list view displays horizontal or vertical list of items from which user may select or with which the user may interact. Now, again, the list view and checkbox both are having in both of them we can select multiple values but in case of checkbox when we are having limited items we go for checkbox but if we are having more than several items then in that case we can go for list view now the constructors required for list view are one of the empty default constructor and another is similar to the combo box control combo box constructor that means it requires one argument that is observable list so let's see an example the package is required that is javafx.control is required for list view and again collections fx collections is required and observable list is required observable list is required so we take collections package the control is exactly similar to combo box just the operation is different so let's see how it works so a label we are taking select players a list view wherein we are making an object of list view so list view the type is string object equals to new list view with type string and the options now options should be of type observable list so this is observable list that should be of type string options equals to now this array we are making it from observable array list method of fx collections so fx collections dot observable array list and we are adding the members of the list so this list is created and this options is added to the list view now this list view and label are to be added so in that case we are adding it to hbox and that hbox is added to the scene and scene is added to the stage and we need to make our public static void main from which we call the launch method so this is the output of our program Let's see the output of this program. This is the same program. Now let's run this program. Now you can see the list available. Now you can select the items from the list. So you can select them. So if list goes further, the scrolling would be available. Now the list over here, single selection is there. So you can make an application wherein you are having two list with one button. When you select items from this list, it gets added to the ne next list. So that's it.